What is up? Matt Pratt here. And today, we're actually gonna start painting the Porsche. That's the Porsche. Let me show you what we're doing. All right. I have some of the parts set up here. You can see I got the rear bumper here. I got the uh, side skirts set up. These are the quarter pieces. And I have the hood. Now, why do I have the underside of the hood ready for paint? Maybe because me and the owner of the car talked and we might be changing the color. First coat is down, and I don't know. I guess I'll show it to you guys. I wanted to wait till the end of the video, but you guys are just fast forward anyway. That's all you guys do on my stuff. Uh, yeah. What? This looks like sealer, Matt. Nah, this is the color. This color is called blue graphite. It's a Porsche color. It came out in 17 Porsches, and it's just this crazy dark gray. And it actually has can't really tell, but it has a hair of white pearl in it actually. So in the sun, it is gonna like sparkle a little bit. This color is super awesome. I don't know if you remember a couple years ago in SEMA, but blue grays were like the color to do. And I always wanted to use a car to do it. And I really think this old classic Porsche 911 is gonna look great in this color. It's like an older car with a newer style color on it. So. Keep spraying. And there we go. That's actually the color that we're doing. It's like, this is a good, I'm just trying to get the camera in a good spot, doesn't mess it up. Um, it's like a gray, it's like a gray blue. It actually has like a hint of white pearl in it. Um, but you can't really see it that much. You probably won't even be able to see it in this light. I know you can definitely see it out in the sun because I've seen this color in person. All right, this has been sitting for a couple days so we can flip it over and shoot the other side. Um, we got work to do. I got more stuff to paint. I think I got this mounted up on here pretty good. Uh, I just don't know how I'm gonna mount the other fender. I got an idea, but we'll see. Uh, I just wanna say big shout out to Lewis. Um, he's my helper. He was in a couple episodes here and there, making a short appearance. He actually comes in when I'm not here and works on the cars and helps me out. He blocked this entire car down. He actually did the final body work on it. Um, There's just a couple parts I was having trouble with. He comes in and knocks it out. He's a young kid, super talented, glad to have him. And I hope that he's gonna help me with a ton more of my builds. So anyways, you know, big shout out to him. He is the reason why I'm painting this this week. Fenders are done. 
look pretty damn good. That actually looked really good, like barely any dirt, which is awesome. So, and I'll tell you what, man, Lewis's body work on these, not a single wave whatsoever. That is pretty damn good. All right, so I did a little bit of extra scuffing and sanding. This is kind of the last chance to see any little imperfection and take care of it. Little stuff here and there, like just little chips and stuff. And it's also the last chance you have to really wipe that panel down and make sure it doesn't have a dent in it. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe it down again in the booth, but if, at least if it's out here and I find something, I can fix it. Speaking of booth, I gotta like clean this place out. I've been spraying a lot of parts and they're higher up in the air, but of course when you put a car in here, you're spraying lower and the dirt is lower and everything. So definitely gotta clean this place out really well. taped up, cleaned off, wiped down. She looks pretty good. Had a couple last minute things that I had to repair. Well, I definitely had to save these stickers. These stickers are all in German because this is a imported German uh, Porsche. Jam's all taped up. Everything is good to go. Now let me go make some sealer up and then I'm gonna wipe this thing down. We're gonna tack this thing off and shoot it. has been a few hours it's been drying um, I don't have a actual booth like I've been saying this is just kind of like a homemade booth that I made it's just air drying that's how I actually like my paint to dry baking it sometimes makes it tighten up a little bit more uh, than it should either way it's nothing wrong with air drying Ooh. looks good I will say I am happy with that 
Now the hardener that I used in the clear uh, was a little bit faster than I normally would use for a job this big, but it was all I had. I kind of forgot that I needed another one. But the temperature that we had the booth at and everything, it was usable. And it, the shine on that, the peel, doesn't, doesn't actually look bad. Um, I mean, I'm gonna polish it anyway, you know? All that looks really good. Looks like my paper is stuck inside there. I have to peel that off. Good thing you can't see it. Um, yeah, this actually, I mean, flowed out really nice and the bodywork. Lewis did an awesome job making sure my bodywork looks really good. Like, I can't really see any waves or anything like that. I'm glad this door stayed open and dried open. The other one shut on me. Yeah, that looks really good. That door looks about as straight as it's gonna get. My rocker got a lot of color down there, which is awesome. The cow looks good. This looks really good in here. I had a lot of chipped up paint on the edges there. Yeah, overall, man, I am happy. This actually looks really, really good. So now that we got the Porsche painted and most of the parts painted, what is left to do? We got like 10 steps left to do, I'll tell you that right now. We got a ways to go. All this stuff has to sit around and dry for about five days to a week. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna start Finishing up the bumper, I gotta finish up the deck lid, finish the repair on that, prime and prep. A couple little things need to be touched up on this, primed and prepped, and then little parts like these gotta get painted in the meantime while these parts are drying. After those parts are painted, we can cut and buff this stuff. We can get the perfect shine and paint job that I am expecting to get out of this thing, and then maybe we can start assembling. Assembling is gonna be the funnest process because you guys get to finally see these wheels that are going on this car. And the wheels that are going on here are really cool. They really give it that German look. I'm super impressed with them. I can't wait to get them on here. They're custom made, custom barrels, all that. The only thing I'll tell you is that they are BBSs, which go great on Porsches. So I'm gonna cut it short here. Uh, I gotta go and edit this video. You do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share. If you have any questions, hit me up. And you guys go work on something, and I will see you guys next video.